Heroes and PPE, the series. Part 2 The Minimalist School of Hero Preparation. In my last video, I spoke about heroes and how many of them lack proper protective equipment even when given adequate time to acquire it. To reiterate, too many heroes, in my humblest opinion, rely on the protection of plot armor to guard them from fatal harm. While this may be necessary for the story, in order to preserve the hero until the narrative's conclusion, it need not be quite so obvious. Real life heroes, both real and perceived, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on which is which, are no strangers to PPE helmets, hard hats, masks, air tanks, safety vests, work gloves, goggles, elbow pads, knee pads, shin pads, chest pads, ballistic armor, riot shields, the list goes on and can be quite exhaustive. The fiction slash fantasy hero however, all too often runs headlong into one hazardous situation after another without any of these precautions. Any injuries they suffer being only for dramatic effect and rarely a serious encumbrance. This brings us to today's PPE subject, body armor. But first some caveats. This analysis slash rant is for nominally normal, mortal human heroes, with all the vulnerabilities that the human condition entails, who have an unfortunate habit of heading into danger without full preparation, even when given the chance to. Men and women of action who officially have super toughness, implacability, or invulnerability as a superpower will not be analyzed in this video series, due to the fact that such a character often, but not always, has no need of PPE. Notably, not all heroes will eschew the use of body armor. The Mandalorian, Iron Man, Metroid Samus Aran, Isaac Clark from the Dead Space series, One Punch Man's Moomen Rider, Doom Guy, The Good Side in the Monster Hunter International series, despite cover art depictions, they are issued helmets in the stories, and many others come to mind. Admittedly, body armor does appear more often than helmets in the realm of fiction, but it is still omitted enough to earn a place on this P video. Also, this video assumes that armor exists that is effective against the threats the heroes are likely to face in their adventures. Significant gaps I weapon and armor technological development may logically explain why a hero foregoes armor in a story, it simply does not provide meaningful protection against his or her enemy's attacks. Personal force fields will be discussed in another video, due to the fact that, depending on the fictional verse they are featured in, they may, or may not, negate the need for physical protection entirely by rendering it redundant. They may also possess a ballistic rating so high as to outclass any form of physical armor by comparison, at least those that are not just as fictitious. Now on to today's topic. First mentioned in my previous video, I'll start with the Uncharted series of video games. Starring Nathan Drake, an adventurer and treasure seeker, occasionally working in tandem with a partner, Sullivan or Elena, or even a heist crew. Each entry finds Drake engaging waves of enemy combatants without the benefit of any form of body armor or other personal protective equipment. Whether he is exploring caves, ancient ruins, or decades-old shipwrecks, he will invariably approach all of these situations wearing little more than his usual ensemble of a polo shirt, trousers, and canonically a sidearm. The game's events more often than not put him at odds with criminal organizations or evil mercenaries, so Drake has every expectation of expecting a fight wherever he goes. Yet his only protection seems to be his pistol and his rakish attitude. Another entrant in my last video was Lara Croft, another adventurer and treasure seeker. It's easy to draw parallels between the two, and versus videos abound. One thing they certainly have in common is their lackadaisical attitudes towards the dangers they face. Lara's most often seen outfit prior to her 2013 reboot is a tank top, shorts and tall boots. This is whether she is fighting bandits, mercenary armies, or even undead hordes. The reboot features Lara wearing default outfits appropriate for weather protection, but still offering little to no ballistic slash impact reduction. Once again, I mentioned Time Crisis as a game series for characters practicing the minimalist school of hero preparation, this time I will include House of the Dead. This zombie-centric light gun game features characters fighting waves of melee-oriented zombies often not wearing anything more protective than a snazzy suit or the hero's usual shirt and pants combo. Even though some of the boss zombies are large and powerful enough to toss characters across the screen or menace them from long ranges, Duke Nukem, the cigar-chomping, red tank top-wearing, alien slaughterer from the DOS all the way to the modern Windows PC. No helmet, no vest, no pads, no problem. 
Duke Nukem has fought whole armies with an arsenal of standardized FPS weapons with nothing between him and an enemy attack besides a thin piece of cotton. Much the same can be said of Sirius Sam Stone. The protagonist of the Sirius Sam series, who takes of whole armies of mutants, zombies, aliens, and demons while wearing nothing more than a t-shirt, blue jeans, and sneakers. Officially, Duke and Sam have no superpowers, they also officially don't need them. No discussion of armorless fighters would be complete without a reference the 300 film series. The first is Leonidas and his 300 personal guardsmen, engaging the Persian army at the hot gates. And the second covers the second Greco-Persian war where the Greeks are led by Themistocles. In both movies, the main heroes fight largely without torso armor of any kind. Bottom line, body armor is a very good idea. Warriors throughout history have worn them, and in fact they are often the first hallmark of a warrior one will notice, sometimes before even the weapon he or she carries. So, why the reluctance to wear them? Concern, they are too heavy, stuffy, cumbersome. Answer, ancient setting. Gambeson, male, brigandine. Modern setting, Kevlar. Concern, armor is too expensive, plates. Concern, my enemies use rifles. Answer, flexible level 3 plus vests are now available. Concern, I don't need armor, I'll dodge the bullets. Answer, this is not the Matrix and you are not an agent.